What are you gonna say? Welcome to the show. Say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Welcome to the show. <laughs> or something but no uh -uh. all right you guys so this is it right out of the box i'm really really impressed right now and then maybe after a couple months of wearing it i'll do like a final review Ooh. hey guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel so you guys today i'm going to be reviewing the charisma headband wig i did purchase this wig on amazon it is a synthetic wig i got it in a long wavy dark brown i purchased this wig for 27.99 the wig did come with three headbands i will insert pictures of the headbands because i really honestly have no clue where they are at this point i will insert a picture of what the wig was supposed to look like when you get it so you guys can see and you kind of know you know what to expect the first clip of this video that you saw was the unboxing my impressions on it it really felt almost kind of like yakky hair kind of had a texture to it it felt really nice i liked it coming right out of the box but my impression then and my impression now are totally different so let's go ahead and get into it i purchased this wig in march so i wore it maybe a handful of times like maybe five or six times i ended up wearing it on march 17th for my son's birthday when we went to the zoo i wore it for the whole day and that is the only day that i wore it for over three hours right so for that day it was it was nice it was a little bit tangly here and there I tried not to mess in it and touch it and all that kind of stuff after that it was like a real quick thing like throw it on to go to the grocery store throw it on to run to the mailbox you know throw it on to go pick up kids from school that type of thing it was never like a full day wear so I want to make that really really clear so that when I show you the wig you understand why that's important all right, you guys, so here is the wig. All right, so looks good enough on top. It's kind of like whatever. It doesn't really like after a while, it started to get really, really waxy and I can't take the wax. Like, I really can't run my fingers through it. And I'm the type I really need to be able to run my fingers through. And I know it is synthetic. Like I get it, but the amount of times I wore it for, I should have been able to get a little bit more like, I don't know. It should have been this tangled so fast is basically what I'm saying. But this was the part that really just took me like, like if you could see up in here, that was a no for me, right? I mean, basic construction, it had two clips in the front and then one right here in the back it had the little straps where you strap it in the back another thing about this wig was oh my god this thing was so freaking tight okay like i got a migraine every single time i wore this wig now you might look at me and be like well girl your head is huge like what you think the wig gonna feel like it's gonna be tight but let me explain right I have a huge forehead. <laughs> I feel like this part of my head is like not abnormally big like my forehead is, right? So <laughs> I don't know. To me, I just felt like it was way too tight. They needed like some better construction on this or something. Like I had my real hair out and I had a ponytail in the back. I would have to like 
put this part over the ponytail like the back part over the ponytail so that it didn't feel like my brain was being squeezed out and then all that time i felt like it was going to slip off because you know it's not secure and then so either that or i had to put the clips further back which would meant more of my hair at the top was exposed and i had to have the headband on which was fine but the headbands that they send you don't cover the headband that's attached to the wig so that was annoying i had to work out my own headband situation like i had to like kind of camouflage it and tuck it and do all these different things and it just wasn't worth it i didn't like it it was not my gym so yeah after a certain amount of time it just gets waxy and stuff like that and then mind you i didn't even wear it down the entire time the first day that i wore it was the only day that i wore it down any other day i kind of flipped it up and put a little clip on it so that it didn't get so tangled so with one day of full wear and then you know what no i would say two days two days of full wear because i did wear it another time but other than that it was always up in the clip so i mean like explain yourself explain yourself wig why are you so tangled when you've only been worn a full day two times like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i mean don't get me wrong i understand it's synthetic right but i've had other synthetic wigs before and i just felt like i got better wear out of them like some of my crochet wigs that i've worn the bobby boss brazilian deep curl or whatever that was girl like <laughs> when i tell you fingers running through fingers running through and i wore that wig multiple times so i know that synthetic hair can be detangled without the hair turning waxy and all that I'm going to be really honest with you guys. If you are going to try this wig and you are going to take my recommendation of, you know, what I'm, how I'm saying that it worked for me, keep in mind that I didn't do anything to this hair. I didn't put any product in it, water, heat, nothing. I did nothing to it. So if you are the type who's willing to doctor up some hair and all that, you know, you might be able to get some more life out of this thing but i just really was not willing to do that i just really didn't see <sighs> it wasn't giving me worth the time basically it was what i'm trying to say like i wasn't feeling that it would be worth the time to do that because for one thing i couldn't even wear it it was so tight on my head and I mean, like, what am I gonna do with it? Like, I can't, can't wear it. It's too tight. So that was one thing. I was feeling like I could clip, like, the sides or something and like bobby pin it. But again, it just really wasn't worth all that to me. Also, you guys, another disclaimer. I am a bit of a hair snob. I don't want to say hair snob. I don't want to say hair snob. I'm not a hair snob because I'll wear synthetic hair like it's not a problem. But I am used to virgin Brazilian hair. I have a wig that I've worn in several of my videos. I'll insert some clips so you can see that wig or that those bundles of hair I've had maybe since 2015 I've had it since. So I am very used to longevity in hair and you know I'm used to the Brazilian and the virgin and the you know that good good you know what I'm saying but <laughs> so you know I could be just expecting way too much out of this hair but also I wear crochet hair and I do hair and I know how hair operates and to me this hair was just really not that great so the fact that I couldn't wear it down without it just getting completely tangled more than twice like that's a lot of tangle for two times and like oh and the shedding <laughs> the shedding 
was real. Now, usually I'm a girl who don't even care about shedding because I understand the hair is going to come out. My biggest thing is the tangling. So if it tangles too much, I'm usually out from that. But if I can get no tangling and it sheds, I'm cool with that. I don't mind, you know, doing some of this and some of that. I don't mind <laughs> that type of thing, you know what I'm saying? But this wig shed to the point where it was embarrassing. Like, I was just like... Oh, that's me, huh? Oh, that's me. That's me again. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't worry about that. I'm just shedding. Don't worry about it, guys. Like, no. It was a no. It was a no. It was a no. It was a no for me. But, like I said, maybe you are the type who's willing to, like, doctor it up. You know, throw some curls on that thing. Or throw some heat on it, you know. And get it real, real good. I don't know. But... That's not me. I did read a couple of reviews that said that they put heat in it and it was fine up to 400 degrees, but I don't think so. I mean, me personally, I don't think so. But again, I did not try. So like I said, if you're willing to, you know, put some love into the wig, fine. But if you want something quick that you can throw on and just wear really fast and not have to worry about all of this, for the occasional wear, this wig is not the move. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I always answer my questions, always read my comments. So please let me know. I didn't want to make this video too, too, too long. I just wanted to make it really, really quick. So if I miss anything or if I didn't mention anything, make sure you guys leave your questions in the comments and I will be sure to answer. But you guys, that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. King, do you want to say bye? Yeah. Come on, say bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. He wants to say bye to you guys. All right. I say bye guys. Bye guys. See you next time. Bye. bye.